In this video, we are going to show you how to use Twilio WhatsApp Sandbox to send and receive WhatsApp messages using Twilio. This is my Twilio account dashboard. In the left navigation panel, click on the messaging and then try it out option. Here select the send a WhatsApp message option. To activate your sandbox, you need to accept these terms and conditions. Using the sandbox, you can text your application without having a WhatsApp business account. To connect to WhatsApp Sandbox, you need to send the joining code to this listed number. Or simply you can scan the QR code through WhatsApp Mobile. On the top right corner, you will get this notification stating, you're now connected to Twilio WhatsApp Sandbox. Now, you can send a WhatsApp message through Twilio. The message will be sent to this phone number. And this is going to be the sender. These are the message templates that you can send like appointment reminders, order notifications, and verification codes. On the left, you can see the request that is going to be sent. Here you can see curl, recipient, and sender phone numbers, and auth token. Now, click on the send template message button. As you can see, we have received the message successfully on my smartphone. Here, you can check the response. The status code is successful and this is the recipient and other information. Next, we'll send the message from the smartphone to the Twilio WhatsApp phone number. The message is received by Twilio. On the top right corner, you'll see the message that says this sandbox will be active for the next 24 hours. Here is the message that I sent from my WhatsApp account. Now, we'll reply to this message. This is the message body and now we'll click on the send your reply button. The message is sent almost immediately. You can also see the success response code. This is the message that we sent. When I see a message from my smartphone, I get an automatic message that says configure your inbound URL. We'll do that now. Click on sandbox settings. In the when a message comes in field, there is a Twilio URL. We'll need to replace this. We'll be using a website called webhook site. Here is the URL that I'll be using as an inbound URL. Copy this URL and paste it right here. There are two methods, post and get. Click on the save button. Again, send a message from my smartphone. Now, I'll not receive this message here, instead, I'll get it in the URL that I provided. As you can see right here, this is the sender's name. This is the phone number. This is the message body. And this is the sender's phone number. You can configure your own WhatsApp account, but for this, you need to upgrade your Twilio account from the free to paid version. You can get the WhatsApp API by connecting the Meta Business Manager account with WhatsApp Business account. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.